Hey YouTube, this is Everything You Pan here, and today I'm going to be doing a video tutorial on how to install Windows Me in VirtualBox. Um, this is the first video I'm doing where the tutorials are split up. The first Windows Me video that I did was on VMware, so um, this is going to be the VirtualBox tutorial since I did get it to work on VirtualBox, um, and I did not get it to work on VirtualBox then. So um what you're gonna need is the links in the description to VMware or not VMware VirtualBox and, and um as well as the ISO with the um there's a boot disk that you're gonna need as well which will be in there. You'll see it. So once you get those, oh you'll need WinWar as well. I forgot about that. You need to create a virtual machine. Windows Me and then hit next. Choose the RAM and then choose the amount of hard drive space. I'm just going to leave it at 4 gigs. Go ahead and hit settings, storage. Hit that empty floppy and browse for the Windows Me setup disk or what the oak is here. Click open and then here you want to browse for the retail ISO which will be in the description then click OK and then go ahead and start passwords bottom right of the video just an FYI or there is a link in the description so once this comes up you need to boot from the CD-ROM go ahead and click enter and then go ahead and start Windows Setup from the CD-ROM <coughs> and by the way the day of recording this video October 12th it is my birthday today um, even though it's really really late so I figured I'd just tell you guys that I'm actually recording a video on my birthday. It takes pretty much some dedication to work on your birthday. Um, so here, just click enter to um, continue into the setup. Click uh, configure un unallocated disk space and then hit yes, enable large disk support. And then click enter. Then boot from the CD-ROM again. Start Windows setup from the CD-ROM. And then what it's going to do is it's going to format your virtual drive. And then it will go through a disk check after it is finished uh, formatting. So just kind of let it do its thing here. And then it should pop up doing, yep. So click enter to perform the routine check. And now it's going to copy files needed for setup. So go ahead and click next to continue on the welcome to Windows Me setup screen. Accept the license agreement and hit next. And now the product key is in here. So this will be included with the ISO as well. Um, so I'm going to enter that in quick for you guys and I'll be right back. Alright, so once you're done with that, go ahead and hit next to continue on the uh, directory to select uh, the C Windows directory. Now it's going to check for installed components as well as check for available disk space. And then go ahead and just leave it on typical and then hit next. And then type in a name. I'll just type in everything EPAN, hit next. Click install most common components, hit next. And then you can change the computer name if you want to click next make sure you have your country correctly selected Mine's United States hit next and then do time zone and hit next now it's going to try to create a startup disk but then it will actually skip that since there's not a blank floppy in <clears throat> then go ahead and hit finish to begin copying files and now it's going to start the installation on Kyle file copy progress um, for Windows Me so just let this sit this can take some time and I'll be back with you guys once that is finished okay it's now it's done it's ready to reboot so it's already gonna reboot automatically since I just started and didn't even click the restart now button but um now when it's up to this menu since the floppy is still in go ahead and boot from the hard disk 
it will come up with Windows Millennium Edition. Now it's going to initialize and then it's going to set up plug and play devices. So this can take some time. So just kind of let it sit for a little bit. And then it's going to, <coughs> excuse me, it's going to detect non plug and play hardware as well. So kind of just let this sit for a little while. It's just going to kind of detect some stuff and do some other processes. So just kind of let this sit for a little bit. So now after it's done with all that, it's going to do another restart. So go ahead and hit restart now. And then boot from the hard disk once again. And then it's going to do some more setting up of plug and play devices and other stuff. So once again, just kind of let this sit and I'll be back with you guys once we hit a different screen. So after a little bit, it will set up the control panel programs on the start menu. It'll do Windows Help and um, I don't know what it says before that. It says something, um, application start and then uh, the save and configuration and stuff. So now it's updating system settings and uh, it shows your component progress here and your overall progress down here. So this means you are almost finished. So just kind of let that go through and I'll be back with you guys in a minute. Okay, so this should be our final restart point. So go ahead and hit restart now after all this is finished and then go ahead and boot from the hard disk one more time and if it's, it does a successful boot then you can take out everything so here we go now it should get you to the log on screen go ahead and click OK it's going to update system settings and it might play the log on sound we'll see I'm not sure if it will or not we'll have to see what it does after loading system settings So it did not play a logon sound unless it changed it to chord. So I guess you can check this out by going to um, control panel here and then going to, um, maybe it doesn't do it here. I guess you can go down to your settings and adjust audio properties. I'm sure you can find it somewhere, but I don't know why that didn't work. Oh, actually. Go to properties and setting. I don't know. I this is different. I actually don't know where to figure out the stuff. All right, I'm not gonna bother looking for that. I was looking around for it, but um, there you go, guys. That's how to install um, Windows Me in VirtualBox. Um, thank you guys for watching. I appreciate um, you guys checking out the video. Um, you can remove the floppy drive and the ISO as well. Um, but this is the first video that was split up, or the first video that I did after the uh, announcing of the tutorials being split. So um, thank you guys for watching. Um, so now VirtualBox people can uh, get the taste of installing Windows Me instead of just watching from the VMware standpoint. That's kind of why I'm separating these, just because that way I can show it both ways. I mean, I could have done it in the same video, but I mean, it's easier for me to do it the other way. But I've said this about a billion times already, but thank you guys for watching the video. Um, like the video if you enjoyed. Um, make sure to share the video as well um, so that other people can use this tutorial. And then um, comment your ideas down below on what I should do for, um, for uh, VMware tutorials or whatever. Apologies, that was my headset. Um, Comment your ideas down below, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Once again, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video.